Are you U.S. Airsoft? No, I'm Jet the Desert Fox. What's up, my bro? I'm here in a very crowded parking lot here at Amp Airsoft for the third anniversary Bolt Bash. And even though it's really early and they haven't even technically opened up yet, they have a big swap meet in the back that we're going to go ahead and take a look at. I love coming to these swap meets. I think a lot more of them need to happen around the United States and just in Airsoft in general. So let's go ahead and see some of the awesome stuff that people have, see if we can find some deals, see if we can even pick up some stuff. I've been peeking at it a little bit. There's some really cool stuff back here. So let's go ahead and just check out Swap Me, shall we? Uh, some of them are doom on a dang old human man. Boy, I tell you what, I get a goddamn superhuman innovative venom made a dang old rubber so that anything you say is ricocheting back at you, man. As he spreads his love all over. Oh, oh God. Hi, Doug. Hi, Doug. What are y'all doing? Yeah, to say that a lot of stuff is being taken to the back of Amped Airsoft would be a pretty big understatement. Okay. And we're not even in the back. And this is a really nice Subi. Tasteful mods. Gotta love it. How many people are here already? Probably at least 100 people so far. I see all the tables. Yeah. So uh, I think we're gonna go back there and see what we can yeah. find. It's uh, 10 to 11, so it hasn't really kicked off yet. So it's a good start. Uh, people are pouring in at the moment, so. <laughs> the parking lot is full and even yes. some other parking lots as well. Yes, yeah, we're using three parking lots right now. Hi. <laughs> all right, so coming around the corner, We've got pretty much everything here, back here on this building and of course in the Amp Airsoft side parking lot. And first off, of course, we do have gear on some tables. This is a great place to pick up magazines. Of course, MP7 magazines, 30 bucks a pop. Uh, let's see, I think those are FNX. No, these are high kappa magazines, extended high kappa magazines. Yeah, you can find some really good deals, 15 bucks for that. And of course, it's Amp Airsoft, so we do have inline hoses here. I see something though. I see an M60. I don't think we've seen an M60 yet at one of the swap meets, so that's cool. M249, SVD, a stoner. Haven't seen one of these either on a table in a while. Needs a little bit of TLC, but it's nothing that's gonna be really difficult for anybody to build back up. KWA Chris Vector. Yeah, I got really two. Cool. You got two? I have two. Awesome. I had four when they first came out in 2012. Dude, I'm guessing this is the other one? Or? Yeah, these are both original. I had a brand new one in a box a couple years ago, and I sold it with like two mags for like a thousand bucks because wow. you couldn't find them anymore. That's but I a... actually have like 10 mags with this one. Well, if you sell those, at least you'll have a down payment for a new car. That and uh, this is a... I saw that. Was that an old so this Aries? Is, this is a top M60. No. Wow, really? It's from the late 80s, early 1990s. Cool thing with this is it's a hopper fed. So you open the top here, pour your BBs in, and then you start shooting. When you start to get low, you raise the gun up. And it feeds more BBs, like a paintball system. See, I thought it was at first just another A and K, but then I saw the sheen on it. I was like, "That's not an A and K. That's yep. like a old Aries Star or something else." I actually, yep, I got this. It was brand new in the box a couple years ago. Guy had it on an auction, and I got it for two hundred bucks. How much are you trying to get rid of it for today? I just threw two grand on it, just as a joke. Let's see if someone gets it it's a collector's piece of airsoft history i would recommend if it doesn't disappear today check out the classic airsoft uh, group on facebook if you haven't already okay well thank you man not a problem good luck it. thank you now normally a lot of people will look at the guns immediately but check out the bins you can find little pieces of gear that you're looking for maybe some pouches rail covers if necessary and then you can find even smaller parts like you know somebody out there is looking for buckles someone's looking for a butt pad for their gun that they lost always go through these little bins if you're really trying to look for a little piece and i gotta love the people that actually put real tags on everything i mean five dollar mag pouches and stuff yeah there's gonna be some people that are gonna love this stuff hi guys hello hello what are you doing hello media what do you think about the event so far oh it is everything i wanted and more um people still signed up we got more people coming in you okay. looking for anything no however on your last video at Evike, you saw a LCT RPD. If there's oh, yeah, one yeah. here, I will go bankrupt. Hey Scott, how hey. much did that camera cost you? Uh, the ah. body, I think, was 2000 I think the kit lens ah. was like an error 200 and the stereo mic on top oh. was an error like 250 But that was when it was new. Not bad. Is this your booth? This whole this stuff is mine. Dude. I, I ran into you at Zulu last time. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm going to try to be careful where I step here. Yeah, you're good. But... Just step on something I don't mind. It's really cool to see 
bunch of stuff just laid out like this. I see like an old, uh, where was it, a JGS system over yeah. here. That's, yeah, yeah. That was used as a rental in a field number. I mean, a lot of people don't realize that renting out guns will make you some good side cash if a field will let you do it. Yeah. These are awesome. Sadly, it's drizzling now and hopefully it doesn't get any worse, but PDRC is probably one of my favorite little compact oddities when it comes to, like, it takes in four magazines. It's like the size of just my forearm. I think a lot of people just never really gave that thing a chance. The only downside thing is they don't like the uh, EPM ones. Ah, uh, yeah. They, they like regular EPMs. They don't like the, the, the orange follower one. It is a bit of a shame. People are showing up and it's just now starting to rain. I mean, we're seeing awesome stuff. But we got the old Evo in here and the actual bag. <laughs> Gotta love that combo. <laughs> By any chance, could I get a picture with you? One of my teammates was uh, begging me to get a picture with no, you. No, not a problem at all. He's seriously a die-hard US Airsoft fan. So. Yo. Thank you, I appreciate it <laughs> very much. Not a problem at all. Thank you very much for just being cool, man. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I watch all of your videos, so. Hey, thank you. You'll be in one now. <laughs> awesome. I appreciate it. Out of this table over here, I think the one thing that gets my interest a lot is a G&G &G M14 EBR. I can only tell because of the whole notch cut on the back. Am I right? Yeah. Yep. yep. A couple people are covering their stuff because of the rain. However, you guys actually have a tarp, so... Yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff you guys have here. I noticed another M60. a &K? Uh, likely, uh, that's his. Sure yeah. Oh, I see. But I would, I would assume that's an L85 with a Daniel Defense rail. MP5 with 3D printed selector? <laughs> yeah. 3D printed selector switch. You guys <laughs> Yes. I met you at Balahack last year. Uh, oh, awesome. My buddy. How's it going? I'm doing pretty good. Hopefully you are too. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Awesome, my man. Well, now you end up in one of my videos. That's right. Hey, I love it. That's Thank awesome. you. So, this is your setup. It's probably right not here. right. So, I mean, listen, it's, it's not a killer. It's not a great seat. Oh, I will make it great. <laughs> I, I got that because I was doing a lot of CQB Boy, stuff. Boy, bucks is a steal for external. And, uh, it is. It's, it's, it's a lot. Like, like the gun totally works problem. fine. It's, but it's just, got I just haven't used have. it in a few years. <laughs> this guy <laughs> is ancient. <laughs> this is a star. I was thinking that was. See, another guy has an M60 just like it, but it's a top. Plastic okay, gearbox. Uh, in an yeah. M60. Yeah, star before they were Aries. Everything, everything like, on the table. The body's, it's, it's aluminum, but a lot of stuff is plastic just to like keep the weight down. But yeah, ancient. And then ICS or a G&G? &G ICS, ICS L85. So it has the, um, it has the Aries 4X optic with the correct uh, red dot on top for like an L85 A2 slash A3. And then the Daniel Defense rail up front. Daniel Defense rail up front. Still got the original handguard. You got an ACOG on the correct style amount, although this one's 3D printed. And then I still got the iron sights, too. Awesome. You have a nice, unique setup just with those three. It's, it's stuff that has just been laying around. I get that. And that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. So this is probably giving a lot of people nightmares. An ENL with a lot of water on it. Uh, that thing is going to become crunchy, you know that. Yeah, I'm aware. It's for, it's for militia. It's, it's part of the aesthetic. I'm going to need a tetanus shot. <laughs> for now, the rain has stopped, or for the most part, it's still drizzling. However, I'm told here in Pittsburgh, the rain just kind of does whatever it wants. Which is a shame for everyone else because everyone's guns are slightly depreciating with each raindrop that falls on them. Heading from the very rusty AK over to the other side, I saw this booth because of the G3 and I think they're both two G3s, but they're not LCTs. This might be an LCT body. Classic Army possibly on this one. Actually, these might not be G3s. They actually might be uh, HK33s. Tell me by the magazine well. Are you thinking about buying something? I'm looking around. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, man. This thing's pretty, pretty freaking awesome here. Shotguns are pretty useful inside the CQB arena here. So, yeah. Uh, Especially something that small. Yeah. And I mean, it's just a pump gun. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. Right. No, oh, exactly. <laughs> or you could just go for the uh, pink G36. So. The flamingo. I mean, you could always do that. And the rain comes back once again. Now, bear in mind, it was 1% rain. That was all on the radar. Either that or nothing on some radars. 1% rain. Do you want to be in a video too? Sure. You're already in it. Let's go. You picked up something today or are you trying to get rid of something? I'm trying to get rid of this. All right. How much for it? 
150, I think. I got it for 150, and I'm selling some extra. Parts. You got to think people aren't going to usually buy it for retail, yeah. but you can usually get at least 100. Okay. I mean, it's still something. But good luck to you on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to meet you. I appreciate you, my man. Everyone is so nice. Yep, U.S. Airsoft, man, representing. This booth I was checking out earlier because I saw a lot of the AK parts here. I know I really want to pick up one of these at some point for one of my LCT AKs. And this guy has a lot of little parts too. Flash hiders, including the much longer one. This thing's actually really heavy, but he's got all the parts here. Hand guards, dust covers. You see more sights, that's always good. And this, I, I've actually seen one of these a long time ago. It's like a Draco or something. It was a Draco. <laughs> in, in quotations. Yeah, they just got discontinued. So they are done with production. You mind if I take it out? Yep, by all means, go ahead. Yeah, this thing is, uh, look at this thing, it's so tiny. We actually saw one of these with Josh, Half Speed, Half Sim in Canada, and I love that video probably more than any other video that I put together. That was such a treat to put together. And this definitely gets a lot of people's attention, but it's just a 3D printed body for an AAP-01. Oh, right I mean, here. like, show me the site. The oh, yeah, site no, it's awful. It's, it's quite wonderful, but it's awful at the same time. <laughs> What I am very surprised to see, yes. dude, I've got a stack of Airsoft Insider a, magazines. I have a collection of them. I have 10 of them. Seriously? Yes, I I've do. even got Airsoft Mag and I think a couple other international I have, ones. I do not have the international ones, but I do have a couple of those. I have a duplicate of that. Dude. Yes. The King dude. Of the Wait, I got to set these up. The... Oh my God, yeah. Con. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I am surprised that these have not sold yet, dude. Nobody's seen them. This booth is really cool, man. Oh, no, I love my collection. <laughs> dude. The, yeah, I buy it. I was saying, like, the if I had money, I'd pick up. I'm asking, like, 60 Look at for Con. all of them together. What do you think? Dude, I gotta get these. <laughs> I gotta get these. <laughs> they're not gonna be here for very long, and if I post that on Instagram, they're gone. And, of course, we do have Boneyard guns. A lot of people buy these up just so they can get stuff like, oh, I want the lower receiver, or I want the sights and the charging handle. You can get that kind of stuff at a lot of swap meets. This SCAR HPA setup, I actually really like that rail on it. And another H&K 416C. A lot of people lose their minds over it. This one's an AEG this time, not a gas blowback. But, uh, yeah, someone out there is probably looking for this. And yet, another SCAR. Gotta love it. I didn't even notice. Right down here, it looks like an LCT RPK 16, possibly? I do notice the matching camoed drum magazine. That's really cool. You US Airsoft. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. Awesome, my man. Big fan, brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, you guys. Now you all end up in your own video. <laughs> all right. And then moving over from that table, right underneath here, got an Aries. SCAR SC, I think it's called, in the hard case, which is always really nice to see. Yeah, if I can get a hard case with any of my replicas, I'm definitely happy. Made any sales yet? Yes, I sold two pistols. Very Five cool. bucks each. You do have some really cool stuff on your table over here. I noticed the 416C. What is... That's a, it is a C version, right? Yes, uh, it's a VTEC, so it's front row. They made an AEG version. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's oh, been yeah. discontinued for about 10 years now. I was wondering, it's like, wait, it looks like a WE, but it's AEG. Yeah. I and it remembered. also has a, like, I guess, when you put the gun back in safe, it decocks a spring on it and everything. Um, has a OG Pro Win hop up with a uh, brass 603. I don't know what it is. Got it as a trade a couple years ago. I don't want to come home with it. Well, good luck to you, my man. Yeah, thanks. You too. So, someone I found stalking around. Yo, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I mean, I had food poisoning last night, so um, I'm kind of like half a person at the moment. But did you see anything so far that you've been interested in? You know, I bought something. I, I was here for 10 minutes, and I saw an LCTAK, and I was like, yeah, that's mine now. That's mine. <laughs> I, I was seeing this guy's section. I keep coming back to you. You're good. But he's got the AK baby, but you got to see this. Oh, that's awesome. And the G11 as well. Yes. I'm going to go on the top yeah, ledge. Yeah, yeah. Good luck to you guys. I will see you a little bit later on, my man. Still more people are showing up, but let's go ahead and get ourselves up here and see what the vendors have going on. 
So for the most part, it's just vendors getting rid of old stickers, patches, miscellaneous things for much cheaper than they normally would. Yo. I gotta get rid of everything. Dude. All my junk. All Wait, my this junk is, is just all your junk in particular? Wait till you get down here. Ooh, nice to see a SIG 552 in here. Another AK that is um, looking a little crusty. A lot of scars, I noticed. There is a lot of scars here today. Puppy patches? Poppin'. Oh, I read that as puppy patches. patches. <laughs> hey, how are you? I've seen you do your uh, live streams on Evike and stuff. Yeah, I've been trying to do live streams again. We got shut down just... Uh, just yesterday. I draw and make all this stuff. Um, I'm Poppin's Patches. I've been doing this for about five years or so. Um, I'm actually going to start buying them. I'm going to buy the machine here in the next two or three weeks to start manufacturing these here in the States. But right now they're all made in Taiwan. They used to be made in Hong Kong until China took over. Um, this one's by far my most popular patch. I can see why. I actually like that a lot, dude. And then these are brand new. Uh, these are Sims Patches. Have you ever gone out to a game and they put you on a team of like uh, all green guys or all tan guys and you just didn't know any of them, but as yeah, soon as yeah, the yeah. game starts, you get shot, you go to respawn, you never see any of them again? Yeah. So I figured each pack comes with 16 patches. So like say you get the pink one, you'll get two medic patches, two squad leader patches, and then the rest will be your regular unit. But everybody gets two or everybody gets one. And when you come back from respawn, you actually see your guys again and you can all stay together. Dude. That's like a low cost entry way of uh, keeping the squads together. I... Really yeah, like your nice. setup. There's like so many patches here that I'm like really this into. This one's new. That one glows in the dark. Hey, Blue Mag Group, I uh, <laughs> I may have used your stuff. <laughs> uh, the ATF apparently knows my name from that one. Why? Uh, well, I worked at a gun store in Nebraska for a while when I made that, and my boss took it down to Shot Show two years ago, and he showed it to the ATF booth, and they go, "Oh yeah, Dave." Ah. Poppins patches. He goes, dude. They knew your name. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go uh, put, my, I'm gonna put my dogs inside. Not something I expected. I've seen cut down Stoner 63s, but a really cut down M14, a absolutely tiny M249, and a mini 60. So this is the third M60 we've seen, but uh, I don't think I've ever seen one quite like that one. <laughs> so what have you seen around? I have seen a lot of guns. Very insightful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Scott? Hey, how are you? Doing good. Awesome, my man. I need to get going really badly, but people are still setting up tables. I just got to go inside. I still have food poisoning, and uh, my body is uh, not agreeing with me right now at all. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. Oh, this is going to be a photo finish. Oh, let me in. Sorry. <sighs> Alright, I'm a couple pounds lighter now. Let's go see what else is out here. This swap meet definitely got populated while I've been gone. Hey, I noticed something. Hi, how are you? L86. I actually have not seen one of these for sale in a very long time. Yeah, and man. a KMP9. Very cool. Yeah. Have you been making any good sales? Yeah, man. We bought um, a flashlight. We bought an EOTech. Oh, no. Didn't you come here to make more money? Yeah. Yeah. That's never how it works. That's never how it works. Yeah. So, what would you say is like the importance of a swap meet? I think the importance of a swap meet, truthfully, is allowing new players to come and find gear and guns that would typically cost more money, brand new, but they have the opportunity to get it used, save some money, get some higher quality stuff, and then they can use that stuff for longer. I just feel like it's a great investment. And you get to learn a lot from Absolutely. people selling to help you enhance your airsoft experience. Would you agree? <laughs> there you go. The masses have spoken. I would say that this swap meet, despite the rain that we had earlier, was honestly a success. Bolt Bash 3, I believe it is. Really cool event. There's more stuff I'm going to be filming, but as for the swap meet, I think I'm just about done. So as representatives of Polar Star, what would you say is the importance of a swap meet for airsoft? Uh, personally, I believe it's more of building the community. So just having more people come together, be able to share you know, things that they have, that weapons that they purchased before, the replicas, and just be able to know, mingle, especially having vendors around as well. You can get a first-hand experience to talk with vendors, talk with dealers as well, and just get that first-hand experience and be able to just be a part of the community and see for sure. what airsoft's like. For sure. I mean, also, I think that... Swap meets are also great for new players when they show up. They get to see a good 
range of what is available. That's for yeah, sure. You yeah. get to see a little bit of everything. Yeah, a little bit of everything. You can pick up full kit of gear and get ready and get in there and play right away. I think that's awesome. So I know you guys are representing y'all's event series, but what do you think about Airsoft Swap Meets as a whole? I mean, Airsoft Swap Meets is just a great opportunity for people to get out and see each other. Like, I I know a lot of the people here, so just getting to come out and see friends, like, talk with my friends in the industry and just different people I don't get to see as often as I'd like to. It's nice to come out to an event where you know, you're not playing and you're just able to sell stuff you don't need, buy stuff you don't need, uh, you know, promote your events or do whatever. It's yeah, just, yeah. I think it's a good, wholesome vibe. I'm always a fan. For sure. I we need two BBs. Several thousand. One. Two. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> awesome. There's a whole tub of MP5 magazines over yes, here. We will. Uh, I guess the rain kind of ruined a few things, sadly. So while checking out the Amp Airsoft employees booths, I did find something that I really wish I had the money for. A WE Tech AKS 74U. Now you can find these brand new a lot of times, but I get so giddy when I find these. I have broken three of them though. Hey. -oh. Uh, the trigger packs were like notoriously fragile and you'd have to replace them with RA Tech parts, but I don't know why, but I just always love this thing. I think I've always just really liked the magazine flare and that it actually was like this full travel bolt system. That was like such a cool thing when this came out. They are allowing us to dry fire out here a little bit and it looks like this magazine is set to dry fire mode. So... <laughs> Oh, that just feels so damn good. One day, one day I'll get one of these. Sadly, not today. So I was just checking out the tag here and it's 340 for WE Tech AK-74U with optic, mount, damaged magazines, two of them, and two good mags. So you get the optic, the AK, and all of these for 340, that's legitimately a pretty damn good deal. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's it for now. I love coming to these swap meets. I want to make more videos over swap meets, both at arenas, at fields, in Texas, or anywhere else in the country, or maybe in a different country. So I would still say definitely look at starting a swap meet at your local field. It's great for community building. It helps a lot of beginners and people on a budget for sure. I also really want to thank Amped Airsoft for having me here at Bolt Bash. I cannot wait to start filming all sorts of other stuff. It's been amazing here. Also, I've never been to Pennsylvania, so besides the food poisoning, I'd say this has been an amazing trip. Now, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do next. Probably figure out something to do with BB Warrior and House Gamers, but again, thank you to Amped Airsoft for having me here in Pennsylvania. Definitely join up on the US Airsoft subreddit if you haven't already, and follow us on Instagram and definitely show support to the people that show us support. But until that next video drops from the city of San Antonio, Texas, this has been Scott Hollenbeck, and I will be sure to see you all next time. Bye, everyone.